Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera around in a minute and you're gonna see Kong FC. Are we gonna be lucky enough to get one today? Fingers crossed, guys. I will cry if there isn't one because I am starving and I cannot wait for Martin's reaction. Okay, let's do this. We've only gone and got one. I got it. I am starving. I cannot wait to taste this. Come on, Martin. Not gonna lie, I think they've overcooked it a little bit. I asked for um, extra mayo, because I've heard the mayonnaise is nice. Right. Let's try everything together first. Look at that mayo. I mean, it tastes like a KFC. Let's try it without it. You know you're eating a KFC. Do you know what I mean? It wouldn't fool a meat eater, but it's very nice. And it's so lovely that big companies are taking this step forward and it can only get better and better and better. You know, every year technology changes and I think they will nail it, but they're not quite there yet. But that has got a nice flavor to it, a really nice flavor. Right. I want my husband to try it. It's the mayo, isn't it? Does it taste like Kentucky to you? No. Not even though it had some spices. Mm -hmm. You know, the, present, you know the, the, the actual coating. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, it's alright. Holding it. Yeah. Well, we are going to eat it. Mm. Nice mayo. Mm. What do you think of the bun? Mm. Would you know that was vegan? Really? Whereas I think, I personally think, no, you can tell it's vegan. But good effort. Good effort. got the texture of a fish cake um it needs more coating we think um a slice of tomato would go lovely with it and some red onion you could so basically i think if i was to order it again always always ask for the extra mayo and I would actually pre-slice some tomatoes and some onion and plonk it on the top. Or if I was getting a, a takeaway, um, that's what I would do um, when I got it home. Um, but it's okay. It's, I would definitely order it again. Would you eat it again, Martin? Mm, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah I'm, I, I am actually really enjoying it. Um... I didn't, I didn't think for one minute it'd have the texture of chicken, um, which is crazy really because there are companies out there, especially like the chicken that you get, the, the vegan chicken from Iceland, to me, it has the texture of meat. Uh, it's one of the best ones that I've found. Um, and Gardein, uh, Gardein products are incredible, but they are very, very pricey. Um, 
But yeah, I'm glad we finally got to try it, ain't you, babe? Winner, winner, non-chicken dinner. And there's hubbies, devoured. Food porn. Thank you for watching. Please give it a like and a thumbs up. If you'd be so kind as to subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Adios amigos. So I just wanted to add, um, just a quick comment about other vegans shaming other vegans for supporting KFC. Now, I was influenced by two amazing guys and obviously my daughter to go vegan. Now, there's a chap, and one of the, one of the guys was called Gary Yurovsky, and huge, huge animal activist, lovely, lovely man, got burnt out in the end with it all. He doesn't, I don't think he, he does a lot now. Um, but back in the day, he was, the, he was the man. And he made this video about, you know, how the world, needs to change um, and other vegans shaming other vegans about supporting companies that aren't necessarily a fully vegan company that's not the way forward you know every day people become vegans and a lot of people are now doing it because it is so easy to get the vegan options so fair play to KFC it helps vegans. It helps people transition to veganism, you know? And that can only be a positive thing. So, don't be coming at me, vegans. And I don't go at me for saying, oh, you're not supportive, you shouldn't support it. No, not buying it, not buying it. And I will link in the description box, Gary Yurofsky's, um powerful talk on why we we need to support vegan options um, in cafes, restaurants, shops that offer vegan 